Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hack Shudo here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you're doing good. Welcome back. So in this video, let us solve this particular lab called HTTP Request Muggling Basic CLTE Vulnerability. Okay. So I have opened it in a new tab. So this lab involves a front-end and back-end server and the front-end server does not support chunked encoding. The front-end server rejects requests that aren't using the get or post post method. Okay, that aren't using get or post method. All right. Uh, to solve the lab, smuggle a request to the backend server so that next request processed by the backend server appears to use the method gpost. All right. So basically, this sentence says that um, uh, the smuggle the smuggled request should use the request method called gpost. Okay. So here there is something. Although the lab uh, supports HTTP2, the intended solution uh, requires technique that are only possible in uh, HTTP1. You can manually switch protocol to burp repeater from the request attribute section. All right. Let us access the lab without any delay. Okay, basically in this lab it says that the content length, I mean the first uh, front-end server, uh, it accepts the content length and the second back-end server will accept the transfer encoding header. Okay, so all we need is a request. That's it. Let me put this proxy to burp and just reload this. So what we need is we need just a request. That's it. Okay. Let us consider this. Yeah, this is good enough. Let us take this to the repeater. All right. And hit on send again. Okay, so we can see the response here. So the first thing that what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, change the HTTP2 request. Okay, I mean the HTTP2 protocol. So we need to change this protocol to just a second. Here we have an option like we can choose this HTTP1. So that's basically 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, it's completely like <laughs> we can type it here also, but just just like that I have given okay so now uh, the point is that uh, uh, here it says sorry where is this yeah here so here there are two conditions one is uh, the front end server will only accept either get or post other than this it won't accept anything okay uh, i mean uh, get or post methods and uh, the next one is the backend server. Uh, so the task is that the backend server uh, uh, should get a smuggled request called gpost. Okay. I mean the post is a uh, is a common one here. So let us use the post method only. Uh, uh, moreover, like uh, when we want to smuggle a request, we cannot uh, smuggle uh, the request within a get uh, method, right? So because get method does not have any kind of body here. Okay, any kind of body. So in order to carry some body, we need to change this uh, request method. Uh, where is this? Change, change, change. Yeah, here. Change request method. Click on this. So this will change the request method to post and there is a content length anything added here all right nothing is added uh great so yeah sorry we there is something added here content length so previously it was not there so the point is that uh let us uh, uh just uh, uh give some text here okay so uh basically uh the uh, CL uh, is be is being considered uh, within the front end server. So this is a post request and whatever uh, we provide it will be considered here. Okay, so let me put an enter and again enter put a zero and again enter again enter and put a G here. Okay, so let me remove the rest of the lines. All right, so now if you can see uh, uh, this is a zero and this is a G okay so what what does this mean so let me uh, write down all those things and I'll explain you uh, at once 
let me hit on send once so now if you can see this content length is automatically updated okay so this how it happened is that uh, here within the repeater there is something called update content length so this is checked so this means so whenever a request is being getting sent uh, before that uh, the content length will be getting updated and then the response will be coming back okay so th that's how it happened uh, here anyway uh, so uh, first thing let us uh, uh, within uh, including this content length we will have to put the transfer encoding header as well uh, because the backend server is processing the transfer encoding header only let me hit an enter here and transfer encoding okay and transfer encoding and uh, this is um, uh, chunked okay so this is called chunked okay uh, there is a spelling mistake t r a n s transfer all right so now the point is the front end server will server will consider the uh, content length header and here content length says 6 okay so this is the content length starting from here okay starting from here sorry starting from here till here till here okay so the content length is this and now what is happening so as the as we specified the complete content length the whole request will be going to the backend server so now uh, see uh, now uh, the backend server considers this uh, transfer encoding header only not the content length so once it is considering it, it, it here it is say, uh, it says chunked right so and uh, there is a proper format for the backend server uh, for the transfer encoding header if we if you uh, remember previously so here this is the transfer encoding so he, first we need to specify this uh, uh, how many uh, bytes are there within this within a hexadecimal value uh, and we need to give that particular uh, data here and then we need to end that data with a zero okay so uh, here what we are doing is we are not providing any kind of data here to process for the backend server and we are directly telling it that uh, it is terminated here itself okay so now after getting terminated here so this is a additional one for the backend server and this will be considered for the next request okay I mean this G will be considered for the next request okay so and if you can see so this is a post request so let's say I have sent this request once and again send the request again so what happens the second request will be uh, I mean uh, this um, the first end of this first request will be going and sitting on the second request okay so that's how it is happening or uh, let me do one thing uh, just to just to uh, avoid uh, confusion uh, let me take a one more request to the repeater and change the request uh, content uh, sorry uh, where is this uh, this one yeah change the method so we have changed the method so I have given it like this all right so now going back here so now what I'm doing I'm sending this request now okay I have sent this request and going here and again send this request and now if you can see we got we did not get the expected uh, output here okay so the second request so now the what happened is g post is happening here so now uh, basically this is like sorry this is like uh, the first request is here okay so copy and go here paste Okay, the first request is here and then the second request control C is here see I don't want to put an enter here because server won't consider it like that we don't want to put an enter okay so just go back and paste it so this is how the uh, server is considering now okay so this is the first request and this is the smuggled request so in the within the smuggled request we have G post okay so how do we consider that this particular one is smuggled so the the solid reason is that see 
why will this be considered as a uh, as a, a method so here it says unrecognized method very clearly okay so this g post is considered as a method so when will a met where will be a method so method will be uh, so this method will be at the starting only not at the ending or somewhere right so that means this g post is considered as a method that's the reason uh, i mean this is a proper way how we smuggle uh, http request uh, all right uh, let me do something different here okay uh, i'll put like uh, hm cyber academy okay and put an underscore here at last and i'm sending this okay if you can see the content length is get update got updated here go here and send it again and now you should see that this HM Cyber Academy is also considered as a method. Okay, so this is how simple it is for the first lab. But uh, yeah, let us get take it much more uh, tougher. Okay, so congratulations. I think the message should arrive. Yeah, congratulations. You have solved the lab and have a great day. Bye bye.